Hi everybody, welcome back to the 30 day couch to handstand challenge. This is day number 12 and if you've just um, encountered this video, maybe you want to go back to uh, video number one and start from the beginning and meet us here in this journey. I'm Natalie, I teach the art of hand balancing. This is Puck, he's my holiday visitor and very attached to staying in the same room with me. Yes, let's start with a warm up today, focusing again on that feeling of strength that we are now starting to discover. Yeah, that feeling that it's actually possible to hold the body weight on your arms, which is the work that you are doing. Remind yourself of the fact that you are doing this work. You have come until day number 12. This is almost halfway through your 30 days to a handstand on the wall. You are building up strength. You are toning your body, building up flexibility, confidence and body awareness. It's good to remind ourselves of the work already done. So let's align our center line of balance again. If you like, close your eyes. This is again a minute to check in with you, with your body, with how you're feeling. Um, today before we start the practice sometimes if we have a busy day it's very good before we actually start our training to just take a minute um, to check in with ourselves to like draw the awareness back to ourselves away from the surrounding world and all the things that we've been busy with um, to pay attention to our body because that's what we're going to do in the next 30 minutes pay a lot of attention to our body so Keep your eyes open or close them if you like and um, just be aware of how your combined body weight falls through your feet into the ground in a straight line. If you were to draw a straight line from the crown of your head to your tailbone and then to in between your feet on the floor, it would be a straight line of the weight directly falling through. Falling through this perfectly aligned body, everything stacked on top of each other in a very easy and natural way. Just shift the weight now to the front. Feel your toes clenching, digging into the ground as you are trying to keep your body upright and come back to your center line of balance. Slowly rock back. Notice what's happening in your thighs how they are starting to really engage while you are slightly leaning back and come back to your center line. Let's gently rock to the right and back to center to the left and back to center. Okay, from here now again Pull the front of your stomach in towards your spine as if you were pulling a wall closer to you. Pull, imagine that the front of your stomach is a wall, you're pulling everything closer to you. And from here, and from here, oh, I didn't want to disturb you. From here, just roll the shoulders backwards as we did. Keeping that core engagement, rolling the shoulders backwards and to the front. Now let's repeat our windmill shoulder preparation movement. Wall in front of you, wall behind you. Let's do this for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now let's take it into a circular movement as we did in the videos before, but let's take it a bit further around. So this time your focus is on bringing this hand further to the back and even past your back. Make sure you're not twisting your knees. Feet firmly planted, hip bones like headlights, facing front, like a cowboy. 
it's just your body, your upper body that is rotating. So you're trying to remain fixed here and rotate the upper body with the help of your arms to the back. And maybe you want to take the eyes as well with your hands to the back. Hold it here. Reach a bit further and then the other side, same things. Hips are staying front like headlights. And pull towards the back. And now let's move it from side to side. Left, right, left, right. Follow your movement with your eyes. Left, right, left, right. Okay. Now again, slowly rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae from the crown of your head. So first the chin drops down to the chest. Then the weight of your head is pulling you towards the floor and depending on your range of flexibility, maybe at this point you have to bend the knees, which is perfectly okay because we are trying to now just find any way to reach towards the floor here. And maybe you want to take the legs and the feet a bit further apart find a triangular shape here. So now again let's walk the feet in here but this time let's try and position the feet a little bit closer to the hands. So if you just check here once. So before I've kind of moved my feet in here. So now see if you can move them a bit closer to your hands. Yeah a bit closer. Let's do that for 10 starting with the right for five, starting with the left for five. So step in, step in, step out, step out, two and three and four and five. Change sides, left starting, left, 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 three and four. And five. Okay, great. Pedal the legs out, stretch your calves, pedal it out, push the heel into the ground, pedal it out. Okay, so now from here, let's take it into a baby lunge position. So you position the foot here between the hands and just gently see if you can maybe slide this leg a little bit further back and just find your lunge position here. Um, knee on the ground or a knee off the ground, your choice. Yeah, just gently find this opening here in the hip for a couple of breaths. So you can prop yourself up on the fists. You can place the hands here on your thighs as you like. Finding that hip opening, finding length in the hip. And just bring the right leg back. And um, the aim is to straighten this leg here. Yeah, but if it doesn't, just keep it wherever it is and find your breath here. Find a way to keep your spine relatively straight and neutral. Maybe you have to come on up onto something, maybe like yoga blocks or something else and just keep it here. Okay, let's change legs. Take the right one back. Take the left one to the front, mini lunge position, knee on the floor or knee off the floor, your choice, find your comfortable lunge position and then see if you can deepen it, see if you can now, if you have the left one in front like I do, see if you can just pull the left hip slightly back and square your hips up more and just stay here. And then bring the hip back, straighten the front leg as much as possible and just stay here. Breathe, 
If you like a challenge, try and keep a neutral spine here. If not, then just work within your range. Okay, and bring the leg back. Warming up the wrists. No. Warming up the paws. Spread your fingers. Open and close. And faster. Faster. Open and close. Faster. Faster. Okay, and relax. Circle the wrists. Circle, maximum articulations, really spread the fingers, really grab the air, like imagine you're kind of digging your hands through a very thick earth. You're really like digging your fingers into the ground and reverse. So the more you try and really extend these circles, the more you are going to feel the effort in your forearms as well. All right. Okay, let's work a little bit more on our side planks. On our side planks. Let's work a bit on our side planks. So, now again, try and come from a supported side plank into a straight-legged plank here hold it with me for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now place the knee on the floor hand on the floor dip the hip low down for one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, other side. Same thing. Try and see if you can. Now lift yourself up from the supported sideways plank to a full sideways plank. Hold it with me here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower the knee. Dip the hip low for one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Okay, great. Now let's take it into our fast activating Plank position with the knees bent as we always do. Tuck the toes under, pull your, the front of your stomach towards the spine, lock the elbows out and lift the knees for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and lower it down. Very good. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. One more time. Now we take it into a fully extended plank position. Remember to really keep that stomach in really push the shoulders to the front and also now when it's getting a little bit harder don't allow your neck to drop yeah so we do not want to have the neck drop down here we want to keep it in line with the spine so get into your plank position attention not like this not like this one straight line let's hold it here for 21 two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
and relax, lower it down. I'm going to push you. You don't like being pushed. But you have to get off the mat. Prayer position for our shoulder opening. So remember, you want to walk your elbows front, bring the elbows together, press the palms together, and then if you like, bring the hands closer to your head. So prayer position, walk the elbows to the front, press your shoulders to the floor, bring the elbows closer together, press the palms into the ground here and then bring your hands closer to the head. And stay here with me and breathe deep in the stretch. And gently walk the elbows back, come out of the stretch, turn around. Now this time we are going to place one hand directly behind you and turn away. So I'm turning my upper body away from that arm while I'm pressing that hand into the floor. It creates a stretch all across the front here. And we're holding it here. So it's a gentle stretch, it's not a painful stretch, gentle. Stretching should be gentle. You're trying to do your body some good. You're trying to increase its range of motion, not torture it. And come out of the stretch, other side, same thing. Place the hand directly behind you in a somewhat 45 degrees angle here. And then turn the chest up and away from the arm. Push your hand into the floor. Hold it here with me. Okay, and release. Let's take it into our first halfway handstand. Tuck the feet under. Press into the floor, round your back, like in the curve and contract, um, like in the, in, the, in the curve and open, yeah, contract and open. That rounding, doming feeling is what helps you to push your shoulders front or respectively up, yeah. This feeling, just try it once maybe. Again, I've kind of repeated this uh, uh, many times, so in essence also when you're learning handstands then you have a teacher um, like me or a, a real life teacher who's going to just repeat the same things over and over and over again. I call it like the handstand <laughs> radio station just that just repeats the same cues for you over and over and that isn't to remind you that you haven't got it yet. It is because often we have to hear things a lot of times until Finally, at some point, it clicks and we're like, all right, that's what she means. I've heard it over a year now, but that is what she means. I finally understand it. So let's try this again. Curve, curve. So that feeling of curving we did in the warm-up. Curve and push your shoulders front. Push them out of the back here, out of your so of the, of the socket almost, that's what it feels like, to the front while locking the elbow out. So curve and push into the ground. That's the feeling we want in this halfway handstand, okay? So again, remember to firmly lock the elbows out. Most important part of this exercise is always to lock the elbows out. So lift the hips up high. Keep the shoulders above your wrists, hold it here for 20 seconds, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Lower down. Breathe. Remember to dig your fingers into the ground. 
We are now doing 20 skips again. Remember softly land, softly land with each foot on the ground. And let's go, lift your hips. Round your back, push the shoulders out and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Lower down, relax, breathe. Maybe you roll your shoulders backwards. You don't have to like sit on your knees as I do here in between exercises. It's just how I like to do it. You can sit cross-legged or any other way or in a squat position even if that's what you prefer. Okay, so next let's lift up onto the feet and let's lift, let's try and lift one foot off. So I'm lifting one foot off as we already did once to a 45 degrees angle and push on to the hands. So this is going to take more weight onto your hands. Let's stay here for lift the leg even a bit higher than that and stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Release. Rock back onto the toes here. Give your hamstrings, um, give your calves a stretch by rocking back and forth. Okay. Let's do this one more time and lift the other leg up to 90 degrees or if you can, even a little bit higher than that. And stay for 20 seconds. Lift the hips up high and lift the leg for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now come back down. Prepare your elevation. Prop it up against the wall if you like. And this time really focus on taking the hips a bit higher than you did last time. Yes, yeah, so we are aiming to hold this one here now for three times 20 seconds. It's quite a bit more than we did so far. But let's push through this. Um, this is already almost like a proper little handstand practice. So let's get into a halfway handstand on the elevation. Push the shoulders into the ground, lift the hips a little bit higher here. You may be even already on top of you and make sure your shoulders are staying on top of the wrists. Let's stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Come down. Come down and either you sit in a squat if you like with the knees to the side. This is a very good relaxing position or you just want to sit on your knees and roll the shoulders back. That's equally okay. This has the benefit of working a little bit on your flexibility as well while you're in the break. And it's quite, it can be quite a comfortable position to sit in. Okay, short breaks, intensive practice. Let's do the next one straight away. Prop your feet up, lift the hips, dig your fingers into the ground. Push the shoulders out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Come down. 
find a squat position or find a kneeling position and roll the shoulders back breathe in deeply in and out to recover for no more than a minute in these intensive practices my guideline is always to keep the breaks to maximum one minute 60 seconds in order to not fully recover and challenge your body a bit further so this time really see if you can take not a risk but maybe a little bit of an adventure by taking the hips even higher up because ultimately we want to bring the hips right above the shoulders so again prop your feet up here lift the hips up high push into the ground shoulders elevated for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty all right let's just get rid of this and get into a kneeling position really stretch the hands out as far as you can to the front release the shoulders to the ground reach a little bit further to the front well, if you want you can place the forehead on the ground and breathe and come back to a cross-legged position or as I say again, if cross-legged isn't comfortable for you, just prop yourself up on a towel so that you can keep an upright spine. So from here again, we're going to take the arm across, press the arm towards you, press the shoulder down and hold it here with me. And release. Other side, take the arm across, put it towards you, press this shoulder down, hold it here with me. And release. Okay, so one more time now. Interlock the fingers behind the back, straighten your spine. Push the elbows straight and if you're feeling like that's an option to you, maybe you want to also think of opening the chest a little bit further out and lifting your arms slightly, just a little bit to intensify the stretch. So sometimes I get a cramp here, so you shouldn't get a cramp. If you're lifting it too high, this is really about getting this stretch here. Open up the chest, push the elbow straight. All right, okay. And now let's just give the um, wrists a little relief by pressing the hand towards us. So you can do this also with a straight line. You just gently press the hand towards you. You yeah, just gently. You flex it in the opposite direction of the position of the 90 degrees position that the hand has just been forced into for the last half hour to give it a bit of relief and other side same thing gently just flex the hand towards you okay and release all right this was your day number 12 it's one more day and then we are taking a day off a little break mental and physical 
And thank you very much for practicing with me. I hope to see you in the next video.